Hi, hello, my name is Ray Odom. I'm a deputy sheriff for Allen County Police Department, a Purdue graduate. And you should watch Hackonomics because if you want to learn anything about the economy today, this gentleman is the person to tell you. And life is all economics, whether you know it or not. Thank you. Our next guest is Mr. Raymond Odom, uh, formerly of Northside High School and Purdue University. Raymond, you were an athlete at Northside uh, playing basketball. Is there, much, is there really much difference between a, a high school basketball game and college basketball game? Yes, there's a lot of difference between high school and college because in high school you're trying to achieve a goal that you're trying to get to in college, and in college it seems like it becomes more of a business instead of you know, just out there playing to get against your friends that you know across town. And it becomes more of a business and you, you develop a business-like attitude. Now, what are you, you're about six foot six, six foot seven. Now you had pretty much of a, a power game in high school and I guess you had to pretty much have a power game in college. How does a power game from each level differ? Well, the power game in college is a lot different because in high school, the power is more, more likely you bigger than the guy you're playing against. But in college, you got a guy that's the same size that you could have to you know, overpower. And it's, it's just a matter of, you know, who wants it the most. Okay, well, now you're a deputy sheriff, am I correct? Yes. You know, has, uh, has sports uh, helped you in, in, in your current occupation right now? Yes, it has. It's taught me that I can uh, communicate better with people. And uh, I think the fact that, you know, most of the guys that I do deal with know who I am. And uh, they know something about me, so that helps my job just that much easier because they do know me and they know I'm a, give them a fair deal compared to, you know, somebody else that don't know them. So it helps a lot. You know, what, uh, you know, given that we're going through somewhat rough economic times, uh, what seems to motivate teenagers now to go the wrong way, you know, and, and, and do things against the law? I think what motivates teenagers nowadays to do things against the law is that the fact that they don't have that the, uh, parental guidance, and I think they need that. The parents got to be there, no matter what anyone says, your parents have to be there to help keep those kids going the right way. And what I'm finding out is that these kids, most of all, do things on their own, and they just keep going on, you know, doing things on their own without you know, without even consulting their parents, and, you know, it's more or less like they're out there on their own. And, as long as the parents are there helping, I think that helps the kids a lot. You know, one last question. You know, as a, a former athlete, I guess you're still an athlete now, but as an athlete and an uh, officer of the law, what type of advice can you give to a high school student who, who may not have the kind of talent to be an athlete but that just wants to just try hard? I would tell that person to get a good role model to set themselves after and achieve whatever goals they feel they can do. Uh, what a problem is these kids have now that they don't have anyone to identify with. And with the young group of college graduates that we have around here now, like Walter and Eugene and Roosevelt Barnes, these guys have somebody they can uh, identify with. So if they see these guys doing well, they should you know, mimic them because black students themselves don't have any positive role models. you know and like they used to have. So I think they got them out here now, so they should utilize them, because these are good guys. Ms. Odom, thank you very much. All right.